him, this light is dark. You all see it coming in, just don't get out of the way. We're not fighting for the land, Steve, we're fighting for people. You ain't never gonna get what you can't get to get to me. I've been to back to Jimmy and Just brings a tear to your eye. Hollywood swung its political way around once again. That was the new film, Promised Land, which Matt Damon takes a critical look at the fracking process, but one filmmaker doesn't think Damon or his movie gives the industry a fair shake, so he has made his own movie. It's called Frack Nation, and it shows off both the economic and environmental benefits of the U.S. natural gas boom. Phil McAleer is here. He's the director. He joins us now. Um, you call Matt Damon a liar, basically. That's pretty strong language. That's pretty strong by Irish. We, we, we're frankly, we, yeah, you get passionate. We do, Not you. We do get involved in strong language. No, I mean, he's, he was... He tried to sell his movie. He said, this is not a movie about fracking. This is not an anti-fracking movie. Yeah. Yes, it is, Matt. It is a mo an anti-fracking movie. Promised Land was an anti-fracking movie. He needs to man up, accept the responsibility for the movie he made, and, and, and tell people that. I think that's why it's been such a failure. Yeah. Uh, it, ha it has bombed at the box office. No Oscar nominations. The left hated it because Matt wasn't owning it, and the right hated it because it's anti-fracking and it's, it's funded by dodgy sources. Yeah, you know, the, the problem with these kind of movies, I think, is they started out and they said they were going to make a movie about like salmon fishing in Alaska or something, and then they realized, oh, fracking is popular right now, so we'll insert that here in this slot. They were really trying to do a, a movie about people, because of course that's what people want to go see, is people, unfortunately in the process, they end up sort of, you know, half dragging an industry through the mud that is probably not fair. Right. Yeah, it's or, not um, actually, I, I think it's even even more nefarious. Yeah, it's more nefarious than that. I think they didn't start off making they want to make a movie of people. They want to start off making a movie about fracking, an anti-fracking movie, and they push the people on top of the of the, the ludicrous plot and, and the anti-fracking situation. So that's what's wrong. It, it was too. It, they, 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 they wanted to. It, they wanted to make a polemical movie, but Matt Damon wouldn't own it. He wouldn't yeah. own the polemic. He didn't. He, it's a it's a passion project of Matt Damon. He's made public videos where he's attacked fracking. That's true. So why make your movie? Tell me about your movie. Well, Frack Nation, which is going to be on Axis TV, Mark Cuban's cable channel, on January twenty second, nine pm Eastern. Get the plug yeah, in. absolutely. Uh, Frack Nation is is a, it's looks it's it's looking at the myths of 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 fracking. This the flaming faucet, which is a very dramatic image, and that was really got me interested. A very that, dramatic. That was from a movie called Gaslight. Yes. In case people out there don't know, and that was something that really burned, so to speak, into the minds oh, of yes. so many people. It's, 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 fracking is very dangerous. How do you dispel that kind of myth? What do you do specifically? You you, you point people to to Google Earth and, and ask them to put in the words "burning springs." There are three places in America called burning springs. The Native Americans called them burning springs. The water has been on fire in America for centuries. There's a lot of methane, a lot of gas down there. Sometimes it comes up through the water. George Washington lit a, a river in New Jersey uh, uh, centuries before fracking started. Water has always been on fire. It's got nothing to do with fracking. Especially in Jersey. <laughs> and so, so what has the reception been like so far? Are people embracing your movie? Is Hollywood so far left and so pro-environmentalist they don't like what you're doing? Well, bizarrely, the New York Times gave us a glowing uh, review. Variety, Variety gave us a glowing review. I'm wondering, is America falling in love with fracking? Uh, it's a, you know, uh, I think they've had the, maybe there's a bit of buyer's remorse with Gasland. They embrace Gasland without really applying strict journalistic principles. And Frack Nation really, it's, it's looks at, at the failures of journalism in Gasland and, and, and examines them carefully. And, and, and I think the logic of Frack Nation is hard to argue with because we, we approach Frack And what is that lo logic? That it's good for the economy, it's good for jobs? What is, what is your main message? That fracking has never, ever in the history of fracking, polluted water sources. And that's just not us saying that that's e Lisa Jackson, the head of the EPA, no friend of oil or gas, no friend of fracking. She said that twice to Congress. There's not a single piece of scientific evidence out there, peer reviewed, to show the fracking. But the opposition just says that's because there's no evidence. It doesn't mean it hasn't happened. It means that people haven't been out there looking at it. It hasn't been in focus longer. I don't know, I'm just trying to yeah. you know, be the devil's advocate. I know, but, but the fracking has been going on in America since 1947. There are 1.3 million fracked wells. There's a big text tube out there, there's a big scientific pool out there. If it would have happened, we'd have noticed it by now. Some scientists would have spotted it. Every state that starts fracking into doing scientific reports, all the signs out there. 
this is one place where genuinely the science is settled. Yeah. Uh, the, the fracking's been going on since 1947. Do you think you'll be able to reach enough people out there, or does somebody like Matt Damon, his name, get all the attention? Well, Fr Promised Land was done very badly at the box office. It, it hadn't made the money back. It got zero Oscar nominations. It's a very interesting phenomenon. We're going to be on TV, and that's great. Every American, you know, most Americans are going to have a chance to see it. It's going to be an Access TV, January 22nd, 9 p.m. Eastern. There uh, you go. You know, you got to get your plug in. I'm yes. selling a book. I haven't stopped talking about it. <laughs> um, thanks for coming on. We Thank appreciate you very much. It's been a pleasure. All right, time now for today's Field Games report. Happy <laughs> Radio Denies.